Hi everyone, I am Marie Franco Mayer, and if you haven't subscribed, please do on that button below in Marie the Artist. As well, put in that notification bar if you haven't. And also, if you want to see this tutorial of body paint that I did with traditional makeup, um, I did not use body paint at all. And if you want to see this tutorial, then keep on watching. I am taking my gel liner in LA Girl Blackout GP740. This is uh, to create the silhouette of the rocks as well as the sketching of the areas where I needed to be dark and textured. Now I'm taking a flat brush and smudging it out, making sure to create a shadow. And now I added some brown on the areas that I needed to kind of smooth out and create more color with um, my NYX Jumbo Pencil. And now I went back with my white pencil and this one's from Bisu and I'm trying to color in most of the areas to add highlight. And I'm gonna go back with my smudge brush and making sure I'm blending everything in together. You can use any brown uh, gel pencil. In this case, I use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in dark brown, 602, if you choose to. And uh, now I'm going to be adding a little bit of black shadow. Make sure it's matte. And we're gonna take our blending brush and pat it around to create texture, uh, making sure it creates little specks of black dots and um, it doesn't have to be even at all we want it to look organic and now i'm taking my black gel liner from la girl again and i'm gonna outline certain areas of the rock and create shading in between each rock so i am going to do this and then i'm gonna smudge it in making sure it looks like a shadow this is going to create a more realistic rock and also more 3D. Here I'm taking one of my favorite liquid liners. Uh, this is from Maybelline. This is waterproof. And I am adding a little bit of texture, lines and dots around the rock. This will help to bring it to life, making it look more realistic and we're adding layers and layers of texture. Make sure it's not perfect. Everything in life is organic and it's not very perfect at all. And if you want, you could go back and smudge it in. Now I'm gonna take my concealer and I'm gonna pat it on to certain areas of the rock, making sure I'm adding a little bit of highlight with my brush and texturizing it. Now I'm going back with my blending brush with whatever was left with the black shadow and tapping it in the areas I apply the highlights just to add a little bit more dimension. I'm going back with my liquid liner from Maybelline again, outlining the rocks and making sure I am applying back the lines that it had before I added the texture in white. Now I'm going to be adding the white all over my chest. This is the Milk 604 Jumbo Eye Pencil from NYX. This is going to be our base of our body paint that we're going to be doing. We're going to create a sky with some clouds, but first we're going to create the background. Now I'm going to take my big jumble pencil, also a NYX 601 black bean. We're going to create a very ombre effect with a black and white as a base to put in eyeshadow and you guys will see in a minute. We're going to blend it up with any foundation brush. Make sure it's dense. Make sure everything's even when you blend out and no lines or like 
smudges are created. You want this to be even. Take a smaller brush to be able to blend in the areas you need. Now I'm going to take my electric palette from Urban Decay, taking the lighter blue and the darker electric blue together, mixing them in, and we're going to apply it all over our chest. Make sure it's ev even and blended perfectly as so. And I'm going back with a matte black shadow on the top of the neck area and making sure I'm taking it down very gradually blending it out so it looks like the sky is already setting to nighttime and making sure it's blended perfectly and now we're gonna take a white pencil and we're gonna create uh, clouds this is gonna be the base of the clouds where we're gonna add the shadows and the highlights and I am using my Bisu jumbo pencil in white and I'm blending it out with my ring finger making sure it's very smoked and you can't see where it starts or begins and I'm gonna take my electric palette and I'm gonna be getting the lightest blue in the palette making sure I'm adding some highlights in the clouds so that you guys can see the detail and we're going to be layering colors as we go for the clouds because I want them to look like cotton candy and very fantasy-like. So now I took from my electric palette the hot pink color and I'm adding it here and there making sure it's not like very even. We want it to be very organic as well. The same technique we use with the rocks going back and forth and just adding here and there where it just looks like cotton candy. Here I'm using my blending brush to make sure it's coming up very softly. Now I added the darkest shade of blue it's more electric and I use it from the same palette now I'm going back with my jumbo pencil from NYX in the 604 and creating some definition and lines to add detail and I'll be doing this all over and then we're gonna smudge it just a tad so it doesn't look like we just drew them on Now we're taking our jumbo pencil again in 604 milk from NYX and we're going to create a bigger cloud in the center kind of like a shape of a explosion we're going to be creating a very surreal uh, like scenery and this is going to be like a hot air balloon concept so we're going to be using the same technique we use for the clouds on the bottom I got my electric palette using the hot pink and adding it where I want it to be darker, adding some shading and I went back with my lightest blue here and there just to add a little bit more dimension. I'm going back with my white pencil again. This one is in my Bisu. Um, this one is in the color snow and we're creating definition. After we're done doing that, we're going to blend everything in smoothly. And now we're going to add the bottom part where we're going to be adding the basket. Here I'm creating a crescent shape. Uh, like the beginning and ending of the balloon, which is black. We're going to use a liquid liner. 
In this case, I'm using Revlon Color Stay Skinny Liquid Liner. And now we're gonna be creating the basket on the bottom as soon as we're done with this. So I took one of my gel liners in the Bisu line. This one is in tone 12. And you can use any brown gel liner. I am creating the basket and then I'm gonna define it with a very thin art brush. And now I'm gonna take my Bisu Contour Palette and I'm gonna use a matte brown. You can use any matte brown shadows or bronzers. And I'm gonna take the lightest color and add it on the other section of the basket where the highlight is. And I'm gonna take my liquid liner. You can use any, I'm using my Revlon Color Stay Skinny Liner. And we're outlining the basket and we're adding texture on the inside in crisscross motion kind of like cross hatching when you draw to create that basket texture now we're gonna add the lines where the ropes would be we're gonna use a liquid liner as well and after I'm done with that I'm gonna take the same liquid liner and we're gonna make a lot of dots all around to create the leaves of the trees and then we're gonna draw in the bark of the tree and there you go and now I'm gonna take my liquid gel liner you can use a gel liner pencil and I'm outlining it with any lid that you can find that's in circular shape to create that crescent moon and we're gonna color it in in white. In this case, I use my Bisu uh, gel pencil in snow. And I'm gonna take my thin art brush and I'm gonna clean up the lines, making sure everything is even. And right after, I'm gonna color it in again with white. Now we're going to add the stars, we're going to dot it all around with the same gel pencil. And last we're going to take our Inglot AMC Pure Pigment Eyeshadow and this is in the number 45. It's my favorite, it's iridescent. It, changes color to like lime green to a very uh, violet color it's amazing when you move around it just changes color and it looks realistic to the night light of a moon and we're gonna be adding just a tad on the clouds to make it look like the moon is shining on the clouds and then we'll add some of it on the stars and there you have it I love love doing this look and this body paint was inspired by digital art that I found online and I had to recreate it in body paint I hope you guys enjoyed this look Well, thank you so much for staying tuned to this video. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And if you want to subscribe, please do on that button below in Marie the Artist. As well, press that notification bar on top if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you so much and have a nice day.